Hi guys, I'm James, welcome to Tobaldi Ghost Modelworks and here we have part 5 of the build update on the Airfix's wonderful new tool the 172nd scale Messerschmitt ME410 I won't bother with it, it's, it's the U4 anyway so obviously there's no V-block, well the V-block's v lurking out there um, she's sitting on the wheels and uh, she's ready ready to have her decals applied today all wonderfully wonderful 62 of them I might be here a long time but yes it shall be fun this one um, yeah turn out, turn out the right way lots of little stencils Lots of clogs there, so. And, uh, lots of lots of little numbers, and obviously the white uh, towel band. And I should have painted it, but obviously I didn't. Um, let's just show you the undercarriage. And there it is, we put the drop tanks on. Yeah and the wheels. The undercarriage was quite fiddly to get in so obviously I will show you with the instructions. Let's put her over here so she doesn't get knocked. Um, now do 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 Bear with me. Now it has obviously the visible holes in. So first off on number 58 you glue that piece on when it's in the sprue. On the sprue. This piece is still on the sprue because obviously that way you haven't got to hold it. Makes it easier to hold. Glue that on let it dry. Same with it. Same. Same with um, the other one. They're they're obviously they're they're identical, but they're, they'll only go on one way because it's keyed. And it come, when you come to put the undercarriage in here, um, you've got a, you've got a keyway on the undercarriage side, the, the main oleo side, and obviously one on the one on the support side, which isn't visible. So obviously it it's like a fork and it goes in to the undercarriage bay. Not sure if you can see that. And then you've got to twist it and just wiggle it in there. But it's obviously put the glue in the hose. Because it saves a lot of mess later. And it's the same with this back bit. Obviously that you put this piece in, don't let it dry. Then you put that bit in, and then you can move that piece forward when when it's in place, so it doesn't that piece doesn't get in the way. And then obviously glue it and leave it leave it be. Um, and obviously undercarriage doors, I literally I literally glued those on this morning, and they went on like that. Okay, we've just got to touch up the undercarriage door slightly with some uh, dunk, um, blue, light blue, Lichts blue, um, yeah, but obviously I main undercarriage, rear, the rear undercarriage, yes you have to cut the little, the little, little uh, beam out but it's fairly logical to get it in. 
and full marks to the mast set it worked wonderfully for the tail on the tail wheel I didn't use it on the wheels I did it with my uh, circular stencil cutter and I just sprayed through it it's basically a maths tool um, can't get it out now but I'll show it to you later I've, done, I've shown it on the I think I've shown it on my armor builds but obviously the wheels are keyed to get them at the right angle. Yeah, and she sits on sits on the, quite happily on her wheels. I'm quite pleased with it. So I'm going to basically bollocks it up by doing the decals. So I'm going to have fun doing the, the little swirly bits on them. So I shall be... Um, off camera and I'll be swearing a lot doing the decals on this but anyway so we'll see you that's it for this part of part five and we'll see you in a bit obviously we'll have the decals on hopefully fingers crossed and uh, we shall get a painted as we shall get a clear coated with some uh, satin varnish so bye for now hi guys it's James welcome back um, several days have passed since my last video um, had a rather dramatic Saturday night unfortunately my mum got rushed to hospital after suffer she um, suffered a she had a fall and suffered a stroke or had a stroke and suffered a fall but um so anyway i've got all the decals down i will say this i think the person who designed the decals is a sadist um they put them on there's quite a few stencils on there it's one two and we missed quite a few on here obviously we put the What's it like? What's it lines on there? And uh, and most of the ones on there. So we missed. We did miss off the ones down the side here. Obviously, it's been painted with. It's sprayed with a uh, varnish. It's been gone down with a VMS uh, setting varnish. And it's got still drying here. But it's a lovely surface to work with. But all, the main issue for this video is we had some fun and games with the spirals. So, I went for plan B, which is mask them up. Painted the uh, prop white, as you can see. Um, we used the, the high Q circle mask. I think we used a 2.8mm dot. From the middle, and then we use some 0.6 mil wide masking tape, which we cut on the uh, on the infinity cutting board, and then we sp spiraled it round, and then we put some uh, liquid mask in there. So hopefully today we'll see what that's like. So at the moment, you've got to let the masking the um, varnish dry on this. And then we shall come back a bit later. So, bye for now. Back again. Um, now, obviously the masking set is off. The props are on, and you can see I've done the spirals on there i don't know whether they're quite correct but they tend to uh show them off beats beats the hell out of um masking them um the decals putting them on uh obviously the canopy's not got to be cleaned yet as yet but obviously once i'll get the uh, the wash on i tend to find the wash cleans it but obviously I've got to let the uh, varnish cure overnight because it's VMS satin varnish, to be correct. But uh, 
overall she's done aside from the aerial cable to the back to that but I'll leave that off until after I uh, weather it probably be a floral dark dirt wash but I don't want to do it today because it's quite warm today so it'll um, dry off on here and it, was, it will then go on it was it it will go into the uh, decals and that obviously the windows it will clean up make it look proper proper job yeah so there we have it as you can see she's all done with a little bit of uh, TLC I shall get her finished I'll drag, I'll drag her kicking and screaming over the finish line well she will not not that she gets to be kicking and screaming it's just the way I feel to be honest um, because obviously my mum's mum's health is improving, but uh, it was quite it took it did take it out of me to begin with. So yeah, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.